so hello everyone welcome to our new channel in this we will discuss about the meaning options ways and job opportunities and every important aspects related to the field of the ame in this and the more upcoming videos to come today's topic will be what is ame first of all let's ask a question if you ask general people what it comes to your mind when you think about aviation either they will prefer as a passenger enjoying the amazing views outside having a nice chat with the beautiful cabin crews traveling in first class and eating the luxurious food high up or for the people who are interested in aviation will want to become a pilot the most preferred job in aviation also called the white collar job in which you get to fly the multi billion dollar aircraft have you ever thought of opening up the engine replacing it seeing how does it work i am here to introduce you to a field which does not get so importance on the view of passenger but always plays a major role in this sector or without which the aircraft could not fly yes we are the ames or known as the aircraft maintenance engineers who work behind the stage to keep an aircraft fit to fly it is commonly misunderstood that we have two hours of a life but that falls i do accept we have physical workout more rather than a mental workout but we don't take any stress back to home we sleep peacefully digging deep into this topic the most doubtful question arises is that is this a degree course or something else no it's not a degree course it is a license course i will compare it with the driving license you first learn how to drive you give your test and then the authority gives you the permission to drive and you get your driving license so is here first you learn how to maintain an aircraft you show your skills to the governing authority and then they issue the license in your name There are many licensing categories offered like we get in the li- like we get in the driving license for the bikes for the cars for the heavy heavy vehicles and etc so is over here we have categories like B1.1 the aeroplane turbine B1.2 the aeroplane piston B1.3 helicopter turbine B1.4 helicopter piston B2 is for avionics and B3 is non pressurized aircraft piston engine and the maximum take off weight of 2000 kg generally they are divided into two categories or commonly called the mechanical and avionics team mechanical are the b1 and their substitutes and the avionics are the b2 in mechanical we get to work on the engines airframe structures and many more for the avionics they are generally electronics equipments computers and many more the links for the licensing are provided in the description below There was a recent change made by the DGCA or the Director General of Civil Aviation. In this and the upcoming videos to come we will focus about the Indian aviation and not about the YASA the, uh, of the European Aviation and Safety Agency or the FAA that is the Australian Federal Aviation Authorities. In the DGCA for India a recent change was made the course which was earlier of 3 th- years has been brought down to 2 years in the 3 years course it was in 2.5 years of training at the classroom and the rest 6 months was at the field that is the on job training whereas in the 2 years course the on job training is included with our normal theory courses and this came to be known as the car 147 basics or the civil aviation requirement 147 basic which is in correspondence to the yasa 147 now let's talk about some features or the rules the dgca has made for the colleges governing this course let's suppose my college has a license of b1.1 to conduct and teach the students regarding the b1.1 category i can induct a maximum of 60 students with only 30 in a classroom or a batch comprising of only 30 students which means total i can carry out two batches in a single year of a maximum of 60 student that add as a sum up so what are the main courses sorry the concerns while choosing a field yes what will be your life ahead your job placements your future scope and how much money you will earn 
Talking about the future scope, there are many vacancies in India and abroad. As the common people don't choose this course, but only a true aviation freak who has a love to see how an airplane works, take this as a great responsibility. Talking about salary, the most wanted is you might get low payment during the your first few years, like starting from twenty twenty five thousand, but eventually you will grow and you will grow very fast. Talking to five lakhs, six lakhs INR, if you are a full fledged engineer. and you can even earn more if you have more experiences in your license college fees may vary from 4 to 7 lakhs depending upon the colleges you choose and the 4 to 7 lakhs is an approximate amount for the two years of the college in which you are learning about the maintenance of the aircraft so this was for the today's video if you like the information shared and want to know something more then i am sure i will share it with you please like the video share and subscribe there are more upcoming videos to come i will explain other different syllabus topics and if if you have a doubt in any one of the topics do ask me thank you